Good morning. So I'm back in Alberta for a visit. This is uh, Rocco's birthplace province, but her stitches are out. She's all healed up and she's more than ready to get out for a big hike. And we got one of those ahead of us. So I've been uh, internet friends with Ephraim for a couple years now. We just stay in touch and share beta, but this will be the first time I actually meet him. Uh, but he gets all the credit for the planning and research and plotting out this route. All I had to do was say yes and show up. Just simple and straightforward. I like it. But right now I'm just south of Nordeg in the front range of the Rockies. Gonna finish packing up, then I'll head over to the trailhead to meet up with them, and we'll get started on this. And so we're off on this trip that's estimated to be around 125 kilometers, 6,000 meters gain over the next six days. I sure hope this is enough to please Rocco. She always seems to want more. So today the goal is to cover some distance, about 30 kilometers, get ourselves uh, deep into the mountains. Ephraim, he's been out here before, so he knows the area well. Feels a little bit like I got a tour guide on this one. He's got unfinished business in the area. I can relate to that. There's a bunch of mountains in my history I'm looking to get revenge on too. Whenever I gotta talk on camera, I just fall back in my own little private bubble here. But we're on the final leg of today's journey, another six kilometer to uh, reach our camp spot. Getting pretty tired. Ephraim's promised me that tomorrow's gonna be a shorter day, but we also have to bag a summit. It's beautiful out here. It's just like uh, scrolling through a never ending Bob Ross painting. My neck hurts from having my head on a swivel all day long. Made it. Still in one piece. Home sweet home. So that's day one complete and it's not good enough because I want more. I want to soak up that whole six days of being immersed in the wilderness. So it's been beautiful so far and I'm excited to see what lies ahead. Good morning Rocco. Are you ready to go? So this morning we got to hike about five kilometers. Uh, then we're gonna dump all our heavy gear at this junction and continue on lightweight up into the Cirque. He wants to do uh, Nordic Ridge, and uh, I'm curious about Mount Eustis. I just like have preference for something that's called Mount rather rather than Ridge. But we'll see what it looks like when we get there. Then uh, once it's all said and done, we'll backtrack, pick up our gear, and carry on the loop. We got all our heavy gear stashed away for the morning. Hopefully the marmots and bears don't go after it. When I put on my backpack and stood up, I felt like a, a rocket launching off into space. This thing's so light now. We're heading onward to our first prize of this journey. So Ephraim's headed for Nordic Ridge. He'd like to do that one, but uh, Mammon Peak has caught my interest. It, uh, it looks 50-50 whether or not it's gonna work, but I'll try for it. And uh, Rocco, she's decided to follow me. Thank you, Rocco, for believing in me. Maybe it's just because I'm hauling her kibble around. I see two options. The first is the north ridge line, and the other is uh, the western slope. I see a little gully that might take me right to the summit, so I'll try that one first. This has not been so bad at all. Mostly good footing. I thought it was gonna be like going up the wrong way in an escalator. It looks promising I can reach the top on this. Well, what a satisfying way to start out this uh, journey. It is nice when things actually work out, but all the colors and layers here. What a place. 
Ephraim, he's over there on uh, Nordic Ridge. Big thanks to him for the invite. I had no idea how good this was going to be. So Ephraim got his sweet revenge on Nordic Ridge at the summit. We met up and had a long discussion about the route. The original plan was to climb up over this ridge line and uh, make it into a loop. But we've decided to change it up. It's going to be more of a backtrack now. We're going to veer off and hit some different peaks instead. So we're going to hike back about uh, four kilometers tonight uh, to a junction that will go to Cheshire Peak, set up camp there. We actually slept really good last night, feeling fully recharged for day three. Going lightweight again uh, for a side quest up the Cheshire Peak. Last night I had this urge to have uh, cell service and start scrolling through my phone. Just gotta let it go, it's not important. The only connection out here is with the mountains. As the days go by and we both get dirtier and stinkier, the distance in between us shall increase. Number of days plus temperature Plus or minus wind speed direction. It's their simple formula to go by on this. So this is the crux move on Cheshire Peak. A couple of uh, really tricky and awkward steps with not much to hang on to on the upper end. If you fell, you wouldn't die, but it would seriously wreck your day. But from here on in, the rest should be uh, straightforward. Cheshire Peak done and done. We followed a little white rabbit all the way up here. You can kind of see why they've named all the peaks in this area after uh, Alice in Wonderland. It's kind of like being in a, a colorful, lucid dreamscape. It's a really unique area of the Rockies to explore. So we just picked up all our heavy gear and now we're backtracking uh, another six kilometers to where that private trapper's cabin is and uh, we'll set up camp there tonight. But as I was uh, filtering some water, a big gust of wind ripped off my hat and sunglasses. I managed to uh, retrieve my hat, but sunglasses are gone forever. There's a reason why I only buy $15 sunglasses. Last time I found a Walmart that stocked the ones I liked, I bought four pairs. And uh, that's the second, second pair that's gone forever. There's two left stashed away in the van.
So this is day four of our trip. It doesn't look like I'm uh, gonna get my full six day fix on this one. The weather really changed overnight. The cloud and rain has left, but the wind has remained and it's really ripping up on the peaks today. So we made the call, we're gonna quit while we're ahead, go back to our vehicles today. And uh, Rocco, she's been working really hard. I think she's uh, she's earned a break. I made it back, home sweet home, survived another one, and now it is time to begin the next adventure, which is the recovery process on my poor shattered body. Clocked uh, 100 kilometers, about 3,700 meters of climbing, but what you cannot measure is uh, the level of joy of exploring uh, a beautiful place in the Rockies like that. But I am totally spent. I'm going to wrap up this video right here. Thanks for uh, coming along on another one. I hope everyone is doing well, and I will see you in the next episode.